Atreus, to me. Okay, I'm coming. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. I knew it! We are blowing the horn! No. We are testing your resolve. I have resolve. A bunch of it. I'm ready. Exposed. We should search them for resources. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Kavikia. When lighting these braziers, Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. 
I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Oh, he disappeared. Come, let us not be distracted. We should look for more like this. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs. Only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. We dock on this beach. Interesting. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Vellander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. 
owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. The Velander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look-see inside, don't you think? Can you read it? Uh, these runes read death inside. They need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven, like him. Wearing a green ring. If you wish, I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Dwarven. But no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor of the wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? Oui. I mean... I'll keep looking. That's a soul eater. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no help, no after all, ever. It does not attack. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? Here, boy. Sir! Hey, it's another treasure map!
severed hand. Attached to the Soul Eater. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. I don't need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Atreus. Stay focused and look for a way. Yes, sir.
father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Green ring. Dwarvish inscription. The alchemist. But where's the rest of them? Ashes, most likely. The soul leader got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. What does it say? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out... Eugene Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Can you read it? Yes, sir. These runes were written fast. It spells out... Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. We lost the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. <laughs>
what you find? You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, bro. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside before he croaked. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh. I'm not as interested as I thought. Sure, I'm open. What it'll it be, Shorty? But why take chances? So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself afoul of a scruffy fella about yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow? Hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted Aesir business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual compliment of dead assholes lately. We've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. But so. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Come, boy.
look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. Worth a shot. Another one here. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. I still can't read these. I still can't read these. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. What is that? It smells awful. Poison. Cypher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Oh, what were those things? They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, 
Excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See the woman we made it for? I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <sighs> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... Brother. I knew it! You are Brock's brother! The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. filthy. Okay then, I'll just I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Ready and ready. Now, there is something else to tell you. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't I... touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but, um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck.
Show me more focus. That's better. Atreus, follow me. I think all dwarves are as good as Brock and Sidric. No. Wonder why they don't get along. Either. I mean, it's their family. That is their map. Alone, boy. Okay.
better tool for this job. Yeah. <laughs> 